So our topic today is respiration provides the energy for life. So let us begin by defining respiration. So respiration can be defined as a set of chemical reactions that break down nutrient molecules in living cells to release energy. Respiration involves the action of enzymes. So let us look at the word or the term energy there. And let us define energy. Energy can be defined as the capacity to do work. So what it means is as long as we have got energy stores in our bodies, we still have got capacity to do work. But when energy runs out, then we are incapacitated from doing work. In other words, we will not be able to do work. So, life is dependent on energy conversions. Life is dependent on energy conversions. All living organisms depend on energy. Now, before we look at uh, respiration, respiration is a predecessor of a very important process that will provide the energy for respiration to happen. This process is photosynthesis. Now, let us look at photosynthesis. Let us say this is the sun. So, the sun shines on a plant. And this plant is able to convert the light energy supplied to it into, say, let's say, tubers. These are potatoes. So, green plants are able to convert the energy from the sun and store this into chemical energy, which could be food, which is obviously food. So, then when food is stored by the green plants, then this is the chemical energy that will be required by respiration. Okay. So the sun shines and it is converted by green plants and stored uh, as chemical energy. For example, glucose and so on. Okay. So we have to know that Respiration is dependent on photosynthesis. 